In the conditions of the most severe global economic crisis, some countries under the wise governance of their leadership not only managed to survive but also show bright examples worthy of imitation. One such country is Kuwait, which even during the COVID pandemic, when oil prices were at extremely low values, which forms up to 90% of its budget, continued and continues to build cities and towns, as well as modernizing the airport and laying modern roads. A bright example of this is the construction of an incredible sea city. The project was created by British engineers and was called Miracle in the Desert. The city of the future will be located near the border with Saudi Arabia. The maritime city of Sabah al Ahmad is situated close to the shoreline of the Persian Gulf, about 85 kilometers south of Kuwait. The idea of building a new major city in the desert was first proposed in 1986 by Khalid Yusuf al Mazoub, who purchased land for the project. However, Construction was delayed due to the Gulf War in the 1990s and later by the Iraq War from 2003 to 2011. After al mazoubs death, his son Fawaz took over the project, aiming to not only realize but also improve it, including adding special tidal gates to allow the sea to flow 10 kilometers into the city. As a result, in the deserts of southern Kuwait, formed an ambitious, one-of-a-kind real estate megaproject, which must be seen to be believed. Named after the head of state of Kuwait, the maritime city of Sabah al Ahmad surpasses any single residential development in the country's history, in both scale and technical complexity. By comparison, an inland area the size of Manhattan Island is being transformed into a thriving seaside community. This was achieved through an incredible engineering feat, resulting in the construction of an extensive network of waterways from the Persian Gulf, which now extends more than 8,000 kilometers inland. The influx of seawater transformed a strip of ecologically deprived hypersaline salt flat into a coastal strip, resembling a city with azure sea and white sand. The marine city is built with a 200-kilometer network of artificial canals and coastline. The city, opened in mid-2015, is unique for its artificial islands created by excavating large canals in the desert, rather than using reclaimed land. It features world-class marinas with 2,710 sea berths, accommodating vessels up to 40 meters long, addressing a historical lack of marina space in Kuwait. Scientists have been involved from the start, ensuring the ecological success of the project, with around 1,500 species of fish, crustaceans, birds and other marine life now inhabiting the city's waterways and shores. Mangrove trees and a variety of salt-tolerant plants have been planted along the shores of Sea City to stabilize the coastline and provide a habitat for the thriving ecosystem. New species have even been discovered and named by the scientific community. In essence, this means greening the desert, a dream cherished by both Kuwaitis and other Persian Gulf residents. The first phase of construction. The project was opened to the sea in 2004 and is in the middle of a 25-year construction period with 10 planned stages. Many experts believe that the project will fail as Kuwait is not considered an ideal place to live. Nevertheless, Fawaz is determined to continue his father's work. The exact cost of the project is unknown, but those close to Fawaz report that he has spent billions of dollars. It should be noted that the Marine City is not the only project. Fawaz is funding the construction of Silk City on Bubin Island, near the Iraqi border, expecting it to house at least 250,000 people. The city's main industries will be oil extraction, trade and fishing, with plans to attract global investment by opening a luxury shopping center. Over 2,500 skilled workers, mostly from India, are involved in the project, using a special type of asphalt that can withstand intense heat. The amount of asphalt used could cover 700 football fields. To supply electricity to the city, 1,200 kilometers of high-quality cables were laid. There are also two natural tidal streams on the site, and of the 6,400 hectares of land intended for development, 50% are salt marshes. To create spaces for development along the seaside, it was necessary to redirect seawater up to 5 kilometers inland, and then back into the Persian Gulf while maintaining its quality. A team of water resource specialists worked on modeling tidal flows in two existing streams. The planned locations have two additional inlets and an extensive network of waterways. 
With an average tidal range of only 2 meters, it was clear that innovative solutions would be required for adequate flushing, without costly pumping infrastructure. The design of the city's waterway system was carefully engineered to prevent excessive water velocity and ensure natural tidal flushing of the coastal habitat, without the need for pumps or additional energy. A comprehensive urban environment, including full engineering infrastructure, water bridges and treatment facilities, was developed to support both early settlers and a growing community. Continuous monitoring shows that the water quality within the system is nearly identical to that of the open gulf waters, even at the system's edges. Moreover, the original hypersaline streams, which were once almost devoid of life, are now home to a very healthy marine ecosystem, including five recently discovered species. Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City is a unique and attractive water complex that integrates local and cultural traditions mitigates harsh environmental conditions through high-quality construction, and includes a natural lagoon with decent waters and a network of waterways. It sets high standards for coastal development in the Middle East, and stands as Kuwait's first coastal project in its inland waters, and the largest in the Persian Gulf region. The New Pulse of Kuwait, the largest waterfront recreational tourism project by the Kuwaiti private sector, is set to enhance Kuwait's status as a regional shopping and entertainment hub. This advanced marine mega-project transforms salt marshes into a waterfront development, 